Well, we had, uh, we believe there were um, five sisters in the house or originally, but we only have a picture over there and there's only four. four. I had always heard there were five girls, okay. okay? But so I don't know what happened to that okay. for the young lady. I don't know if maybe when that picture was taken, she'd already moved on and was married or something, or she had passed away early on, okay. or what the, you know, the whole information was about her family. Okay. Did what you even remember him? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? What? I heard it. I didn't hear anything. Did what did you hear? hear? Are you recording? I'm recording, but Are I'm recording. recording. I just now turned it off. You didn't hear that? That was a female voice, wasn't it? Hey, my paranormal people! What's going on? I'm glad you're able to join us on this paranormal road trip. I'm actually on my way up to our investigation tonight. Uh, and before I reveal where we're going and where we're investigating, there's this place on the way over there that I've noticed before, never really paid much attention to it, but it seems like a little ghost town. I'm really curious about it. So let's go check it out. What do you think? Let's go see what it's about. Foster community began in the fall of 1821 as a permanent campsite settled by Randolph Foster on what was then one of the largest single land grants in Texas. By the end of World War II, several factors led to the community's decline, the end of the area of sugar crops, the closing of the railroad, the Great Depression and changes in ownership and farming techniques. In 1944, the community schools, post office and journal stores closed. Today adjacent to Houston, the state's largest urban area, Foster exists in a memory as a pioneer Texas community. Pretty interesting. Really, really cool. Sometimes on your paranormal trips or trip flashbacks, and you take some back roads, you'll be surprised at what you can find. Some of this hidden history of these places that, that people really don't think about. You just drive by and don't really pay attention. You just kind of caught a glimpse of it, decided to turn around and and pulled up here. But what a cool, beautiful place. The foster community. Can you? Well, there you go. Awesome. What a cool little detour. All right. Let's head back on the road. Get back to where we're going. Let's do it. Now let's head over to Tom Ball, Texas, which is just about 35 miles northwest of Houston. That area was first settled in the mid 1800s because of the rich soil for farming and cattle and the thick forest for lumber and was initially named Peck. But it was later changed and named after Thomas Ball, a lawyer for Trinity and Brazos Valley Railroad, after he convinced them to run the line right through downtown, which caused an explosion in population and especially hotels, saloons, mercantile stores, etc., etc. Which is why we're heading over to meet our good friend Heather from the Texas Ghost Gals at Tejas Chocolate and Barbecue, which was recently featured in a Travel Channel show because of the history and, well, the great food, but especially because it's, you guessed it, it's haunted. So let's go check it out. We can come back and then drive. Hey, I'm here with Heather and Mel, but she's way over there. <laughs> uh, we're leaving the Tejas 
Uh, man, what'd you think of the sausage, Heather? Oh my god, that sausage was amazing. Man, it was so good. Was it the uh, chile relleno chile sausage? Chile with queso and uh, pepper. The uh, freaking rib I had Ooh. was amazing. Yeah, you look like so, you look like So, uh, yeah. obviously the Tejas is haunted. Came over here earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I got some uh, really cool uh, interviews. So, uh, check it out while we walk right down the street, and we're gonna go get us some mead, which uh, that place is also supposedly haunted mm. so yeah let's go check it out let's go mm. get some mead it's you know, there is a ghost in here okay back in 19 I think it was like 1935 uh -huh. there was a guy named Rufus he was driving his truck on the track yeah. across the way and um, thought he could make it so he tried to try to beat the train but sure didn't beat the train yeah. so he passed away right there honestly wow and lived, he lived upstairs in the house oh, so he did live up here yeah oh wow so that's why he's attached so there's one up there uh -huh. And then there's one that kind of bounces between all the, all the three buildings uh -huh. that are right here on this property line. I'm Joshua. Joshua, you are you work as a? I work as an all-around type guy. I just okay. fill in wherever I'm needed. Okay. So what 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 have you experienced here? Um. So a few weeks ago, I was working in the kitchen. Uh huh. Doing dishes seemed like a normal night. Everyone's up front for one reason or another. I'm alone in the kitchen. And I just hear this loud whispering, uh -huh. like just whispering. Wow. You know, it was so loud that you'd think you'd be able to hear the words, but uh -huh. you still couldn't hear the words. Yeah. And then I, like, it just stopped out of nowhere. Wow. Your name is? I'm Kelly. And you're? I'm actually the owner. The owner Kelly, awesome. So, what, what is, what, where are we, what, what is this about? So this is a meadery uh -huh. and um, we sell honey wine and um, we have our traditional mead that we call the OG and it's actually for an original ghost uh -huh. that happens to frequent the area apparently. What exactly is mead? Mead is uh, making uh, like honey wine. So normally when you make wine, you're fermenting the sugars out of grapes. Okay. We ferment the sugar out of honey. Honey. So you can see on our wall here, your traditional mead is a honey water yeast recipe. Um, you can add you know, fruit to it. You can add herbs and spices, oh. that kind of thing. So it okay. Do you guys experience anything here? So apparently, right, y'all are kind of connected to the whole Tejas. The, for uh, a while, I saw it on TV, and there's the the, the alleyway, supposedly. Yeah, so the alleyway is right behind okay. us. Okay. Yeah. So um, we've seen some interesting stuff on our surveillance cameras. Really? But, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's anything anything bad that you know. Anybody should be no, absolutely, about. and that's what they're they were uh, that's what they were telling me as well. That uh, it's nothing to be scared of. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty interesting, knowing that you can come over here, have a glass of mead, which it's really good, by the way, guys. I highly recommend it. This is awesome. Uh, but knowing that there's also a ghost story involved with this, how cool is that? That you get to sit here and have some spirits with spirits around you. Exactly. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for your time and telling us what this is about and the ghost story. I didn't even know there's a yeah. ghost uh, attached to you guys. Maybe it's just because of that the alleyway. Thank you. And uh, wow, we're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you think of the the mead? That mead is really good. That blue, what was it? Blue, blue, blue blueberry, blueberry, whatever. Blueberry, blueberry blue, 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 blue
Yeah. Really good. I, I, I could see myself drink a couple of that. I like the boozeberry because she, did, she didn't finish hers. <laughs> I had to kill it. <laughs> hey, but it was good, though. That's it was great. good. So we, we got to be in our full, you know, yes, uh, I senses. Be in my mindset. Yeah, yeah, before we go to this investigation. Now, so I took one for the team. <laughs> Now afterwards, now yeah. Afterwards is another story. We're gonna go uh, hit up a couple local breweries <laughs> after. Oh, but actually, first we're about to head over to where we're gonna go investigate, and it's Absolutely. the Tomball Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the house called? Oh my god! We forget the Griffin House or something. You know what? That does sound right. As soon as we get there, we'll tell y'all what the house is called. But let's head over there and uh, let's get this investigation on. Ready. The Griffin, we call it the Griffin House. Okay, the house is a true antebellum home that was built during the Civil War, mm -hmm. and which was 1864, 1865, about in that time period. The other thing about the house is, this house is written up uh, a lot of times in the Chronicle because we supposedly have a ghost that's in this house. I had was giving a tour and I was in the room next room over the second parlor and we were fixing to move into the dining room and this lady just kind of stood there and I said are you ready and she said do you see her and I kind of looked and I said no I don't see her and I looked again and she said oh she's gone and so then we walked through we came kept touring and we came around and we came what I call back into the house right here and um, she said oh it was one of those ladies right there in the picture Really? And she said, yes, she was dressed just like that. Mary, Mary McCoy. McCoy. And what do you do here, Mary? I'm the director of the museum. Director of the museum. And I've been involved with the museum since uh, about 1988. Mr. Charlton started the museum, and this was his property. Ooh, it floods real bad back there, too. Oh, yeah, it does flood. It does. And, well, and we're very fortunate because if you're ever in downtown Houston along um, the bayou, the South Sam Houston Park is right there, and there's a house that's very much like ours, uh, built almost in the same time period. But um, sorry, the lights flickering. Are is, that, is that yes. normal for the lights to flicker that? Light like that light keeps going on and off. It, it was flickering. So I, 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 I did not. I, I noticed a couple times. I mean, it could be electrical, uh -huh. but uh, it could the, be electrical. Electrical. the one on the right in a house already is old. It could be. It could be. Yeah. Well, we had. Um, we believe there were um, five sisters in the house okay. originally. But we only have a picture over there, and there's only four. four. I had always heard there were five girls, okay. okay? But so I don't know what happened to that. Okay. The young lady, I don't know if maybe when that picture was taken, she'd already moved on and was married or something, or if she passed away early on, okay. or what the, you know, the whole information was about her family. Okay. okay. The next building is a church. I saw it. Okay, it's a really it's nice beautiful. church. Beautiful. It came from down off of Grant Road, Cypress towards that way. It, now there's another treasure trove of spirits and things. It's over in Old Spring. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay, and that cotton gin came from Old Spring. It was the Winchy mm -hmm. Cotton Gin. Mm -hmm. Winchy. Right. Okay. Which they're doing Winchy Cafe. They're reopening it. They're re Are they doing it, yep. Are it now? Mm -hmm. okay. We did right. an investigation there, God, years ago uh, when we first started doing 20 something years ago. And uh, we were out there at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why we were walking around 2 o'clock in the morning, but we shot some video uh, in one of the uh, rooms upstairs and something like moved across the window. And it, it looked like a box. It was like the square thing, but you can just see it move right across the window. Really? So we went back and we talked to the owners and we sat down with them. We were like, hey, um, was there anybody here at 2 o'clock in the morning to, to be moving stuff? And they're like, no, there's no way. We shut down at midnight or something. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's gone by then. Or we shut down, at, I forgot when they shut down, but they're like, everybody's gone by midnight. Like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, there's nobody up there here. moving stuff around. So, just oh. something pretty interesting. I'll, I'll provide a link here so you guys can watch it later. It's, it's yeah. pretty, it's old, old, recovered VHS video. So, <laughs> don't expect anything. Uh, and, yeah, but you can see it. It's, it's crazy. It's really good. Well, all right, here we go. Wow, this is beautiful at night, the, uh, the church. So we're going next door to the church just to run through it real quick before we come back and actually start the, uh, our investigation back in the uh, Griffin House. It's such a beautiful church.
and then the doctor's house is next uh, the doctor's office or house or both is next door but yeah we're gonna check out the church we're gonna walk through it just to see it. it's uh, such a special treat to go in inside anyway and then what little time we have left we're gonna try to make contact in the uh, Griffin house that we're gonna assume it's probably one of the daughters right All right, hey Mel, what'd you think of the church? The church is nice. We would definitely get some activity if we went in the church and spend any time. Unfortunately, we're not gonna spend any time at the church, although that would be cool. Maybe we can come be, back. That would be nice. But our main focus tonight is the Griffin House. What do you think of the Griffin House so far, Mel? it's beautiful. But uh, what are you feeling anything? Are you picking um, anything up? Or? Yes, definitely in that room where the light was swaying, uh -huh. that, that chandelier. And I'm not just saying like in that front room. Well, we're about to go in and start this quick investigation. We don't have a lot of time, no. but we're going to, you know. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll, we'll come we'll back, but come back. let's see what we can pick up. We're going to go into the uh, Griffin house. Now, keep in mind that uh, some devices, some uh, apps on the phone are going to be used. Yeah, uh, even the bit. Even the K2 meters, uh, we use them, of course, but I'm not... The, you know, I'm not convinced no. on that it's spirit communication. It, they have been going off. They have been going off. Been What's been making noise, sound. which is weird. I don't know. To me, it tells me there's some kind of uh, electrical issue, um, technical issue, but I don't know. You, you, you never know, but uh, we're, we're just going to give it a shot. Let's see what we can capture. We're about to go on in, so let's let's we do this. Go. Yeah, Mel's most heard right now. Let's go. Hold on, just real quick. So what's going on now in every room? In every room, right in the middle, we're getting, or somewhere near we're the We're getting center, K2, I mean Some hits. K2 hits. Strong. In, in the and middle of the all, hallway, in the middle of here. Just so they can hear. Do you think it revolves around? We got it in the middle of the girls' room. Yes, we did. We got it in the middle over here. I did when I stayed in by the Bible. Now we're in look, the ladies' parlor. Look, no. There's nothing. Nothing. It not, mm. It's not poor wire. Yeah. And yet, like is literally, it, right? What happens down on the floor level, like all the way down? <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing. But what happens is it it comes it it walks right through us and then leaves. That's what I'm noticing. She's wandering around the house. Like she's walking right through the middle of the middle and then goes somewhere else. Here. Here, come sit down. I don't want to inundate. Yeah. Sit back. Gonna do a birth session in the entry hall. All of us are here. Both K2s, K2s are going, yeah. We'd like to speak to the person or persons that welcomed us into this building here in the hallway. By flickering the light or making our lights light up colorful colors, we'd like to see if you would like to talk to us. My K2 is going. So if there's something you would like to tell us, now's the time. Oh, look at here. We're all friendly here.
Did something happen um, like a surprise or something that shocked you or was unexpected? Sam Houston, did, did you like to meet Sam Houston? Did you greet him when he came through the door? Did you remember him? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? What? I heard it. I didn't hear anything. Did what did you hear? hear? Are you recording? Well, I'm recording, but... I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. I just now turned it off. You didn't hear that? That was I a was female talking. voice, wasn't it? I uh, something. Did you hear it? Hmm? Uh-huh. Oh, like that. Was that one of you? Or... No. It was me. It was back I was talking, wasn't it? Oh, what was the last question that was asked? It because was back when <coughs> I, I heard it over here. I was asking about so. Sam Houston if you like to greet well, Sam I, Houston. Well, I was starting to say he would have just been another man. And you said, what was that? I didn't. Yeah, was it, it me would. talking? Yeah, it was like, hmm, hmm. Oh, just like no, I, it was me. I just said, was he, was he just no, another man? Mean. Yeah, it was like right after you asked a question, all of a sudden I heard a, hmm. Oh. Just like that. That's exactly what it sounded like. Okay. I heard it. skeptical I am, but I heard that. I didn't hear it. That was crazy. I, didn't hear, I, I don't know how I you heard it. it, so it. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I looked up and I saw can Heather you, react too. Rewind your I was in the middle of talking. Did, did you like to meet Sam Houston? Did you greet him when he came through the door? Do you even that? remember him? Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? All right, guys, nah, we're done. Do <laughs> Heather, my boy Ronnie, yeah. Mel, yeah. and Lori, and somebody else Hi. that will go <laughs> uh, <laughs> not mentioned in this video. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. It was a short, yes. quick investigation. Yes, it was. But it was actually pretty uh, effective. We we Absolutely. picked up some stuff. That was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Beautiful, beautiful old house. The church was cool too. Mary was awesome. Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you, guys, and uh, we hope to see you on the next Paranormal Road Trip. Let's get out of here. Let's go get a beer. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I completely understand that, and, and it's so worth the, uh, the the time spent to take the tour. Even if you don't do the investigation, I strongly recommend it. How much was it? Five dollars a person? I think it was. I think it was. People, five dollars a person for a two-hour tour. Great time. Is awesome, and, and we did get uh, special permission to do an after-hours tour, but anybody can do that. Anybody can call and request an after-hours tour. She'll be more than happy to give it to you. Uh, on the regular tour, she'll walk you to the cotton gin, to the uh, to the other house. But since we were on a very limited time, we cut the tour really, really short. But we did go experience the church. But then we came back, and uh, so there was some light. The uh, light was flickering. There was flickering. I think the light flickered. So. I think it's uh, electrical. Light it, it was coincidental that it happened whenever she was telling us the history of the place. But again, it could be electrical, it could be coincidence. But we may have picked up a, a possible a little disembodied sound. voice. A little sound. You know, and uh, as y'all saw and heard, it actually sounded better on the voice recorder. Mel, what, what do you think? Do you think it could have possibly been the uh, missing sister or somebody that still is in the house? I mean, what do you think of the voice? I mean, um, the voice, it was just a, just a sound. We, I don't think we ever came out with a word. It's hard to tell who it is or what they were saying, but it was just something on the video, I mean, on the recorder that wasn't there to start with. But it sounded like uh, like they were trying to say something, like but a, it just didn't come through. Uh, like a, yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe so, that was all the energy they could make that. Now, could it have been one of us? Could it, somebody could have just accidentally murmured Anything something? Anything is possible. It, it could have been. It could have been. I'm completely open to that. So right. now I'm going to leave it up for uh, interpretation. interpretation for sure. Because, you know, we, we do all of our work. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't explain it. But again, I'm not going to say it was a spirit all right there with us. What we know is it wasn't there when we got there. It just happened to appear on our voice recorder. And like you, we're trying to figure it out as well. And the mystery of the fourth yeah. missing sister. Mel, what do you think of that? It's so odd. There's no records of her. There's no records. That's very peculiar. The picture, There's even a the story there that we don't know all it, the Even the picture of. that they have posted, that they have on there. She was a grown woman. There. She's not even there. She's not even in it. So I thought she was in No, one. no, she's not even in it. That's the mystery. Oh. That's the mystery. So why she had all of the girls minus one. A, what happened, what happened to the, to the sister? Missing sister? How, no, she couldn't tell us. How cold? No, she doesn't even know. She's been and a docent. There's, well, there's not a record of her or anything, right? Yeah. We don't even know what her name is. They don't even know. I don't think so. And, somehow, and I know y'all are going to ask, how do we even know there was a fourth sister? Well, we don't we know, don't. but, but go, going by history. what they tell us. Going by what they tell us. They, they told us that there was. So, so we're we gonna, have to assume that. We have to believe them. So we're going to go by that. Either way, uh, people have experienced weird stuff there. There's somebody saw a woman in period clothing standing there, as Mary had uh, mentioned. Whether it's really, really haunted or not, I can't tell you. But you know what? Uh, it was it was a fairly quiet night. A couple weird things happened, and we heard that voice. But I, I would say uh, out of five, I would give it a maybe a two or a three rating. So out of five, uh, out of five, out of five two lights, lights, we're going three. I'm going maybe two, maybe two and three, a half, yeah. three. Yeah, I'll give three at the most. I'll give them two and a half just for the story because the, it was the, awesome. The experience the overall. Missing sister made it worth that extra half but the, point. But the experience there, I give it a five. Tom Ball, in of itself, as a road trip, is freaking awesome. Tejas Chocolate, we know it's haunted because it was on Travel Channel, among other articles that appeared online and in magazines. The food is amazing, man. The, the mead right down the street, the mead was amazing. Tom Ball, in of itself, has this great, great feel on the, on the weekends, like right now, it's Saturday, but there's this good vibe. vibe. Right. There's this bohemian vibe where Good people energy. just want to hang out, sit on a patio, and have, have a, drink, a great have time. Have a smile, listen to music. What do you think, Mel? The Main Street, the Crossing, that place, right? The that place is really cool if you want to go listen to some music. Just some live music. Yeah, there's lots of good venues in Tom Ball, though. There's some good haunted uh, antique stores. One of them, by the way, we investigated before, which will be a subject of either a paranormal trip flashback or, good. or a, a new updated investigation. But here's what I'm thinking. I think it's gonna be a combination of both. So I we're gonna we work it in there. We're gonna do that soon. So I'm not gonna tell exactly where it's at now, but it will be coming pretty soon. I, I strongly recommend you guys coming to Tom Ball. The, the road trip out here is awesome. It's amazing. Awesome drinks on a nice warm night. The history out here is, is, is really, really cool. Got a very historic feel out here. Uh, man, a lot of these stores that you can, the shops, 
it, it's just got a really, really good feel. I, I strongly recommend you guys taking a road trip and coming out of Tom Ball. And I usually like to end uh, these follow-up videos with a little, little lesson learned. And actually, there's a really, really good we lesson. We always have a lot of lessons th th learned. There's a really good lesson learned from that night, but I'm, I'm not going to touch on that. But I am going to touch a little bit on current events. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, give two cents, two shillings on current events, and it has to do with history. Okay. I don't like making this project political at all. To be we honest with you, to, to be honest with you, I, I respect all perspectives, whether I agree with them or not. It doesn't matter, and and I'm not going to touch on that on the whole toppling of statues or I'm, I, I don't care. I don't care where you stand. Hey, leave your comments, whatever, and that's fine as long as they're respectful. But he, here's what what I do want people to uh, to really do is to learn history. I mean, actually read and learn and appreciate history. It's not just you about... You can't just it, listen to what it, somebody it, says it, about it. It's not just about what Mel just said, uh, parroting uh, talking points and opinion pieces on editorial um, uh, TV shows and especially the social medias. No, no. Pick up a book and learn and read history. Yeah, just because learn it history for is history. It's not good or bad. Well, I mean, there is bad history, but history is it history. It just is what it is. And you have to learn history. That's what, actually, that's one of the things that got me involved in the paranormal is because I love history, and the paranormal just makes history come alive well, for me. Well, we're dealing with the history in live time, in so, real time. So when people say, oh, you know, uh, if you don't learn history, you're just, you're just bound to repeat it, which is true. But the thing is, you've got to take the time to actually read Learn history, educate absorb yourself. it, uh, educate yourself. Seriously, don't just uh, don't, don't just parrot, don't just parrot what you hear online. The stuff that you agree with. Read both sides, but read and learn history. That's how you keep it alive. That's how you honor the lives of the people that came before us. Because yes, there's a lot of history that we want to learn from and not repeat, but there is a lot of history that maybe we do want to repeat and not only repeat, but stand on the shoulders of giants and take what they learned and move forward, move forward and keep growing because history is history. That was it, so well said. It defines us, it gives us a sense of who we are and also a sense of where we're going. So people, play, please stay safe. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking around while me and Mel drink these awesome, awesome daiquiris drink. and listen to some live music. And please stay safe, invest in your health, take some vitamin D. Me and Mel had talked about it earlier. Get a little bit of sunshine. Invest in Bitcoin. But guys, please stay safe. Please stay healthy, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next road trip. We love you guys, and, and please don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and because that's going to help us out. So take care, people. We love y'all. <laughs>